Hi there Grade 8s and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud Maths. If you're joining us for the first time, a very, very warm welcome. If you have been with us for a while, I hope you enjoy this lesson. Right, I hope you're keeping warm and I hope you're well. Um, and I wonder if you're back at school yet. If not, I hope we are keeping you entertained and educated. Right, let's start with today's lesson. We are going to be going on to the third lesson of measurement. And today we are going to look at perimeter. Okay, so let's just recap from what you did in grade seven. The perimeter of any closed two-dimensional shape is the total distance around the outside of the shape. Okay, that's revision from grade probably grade six and grade seven. When you're working out the perimeter, you calculate the total distance around the outside of a closed two-dimensional shape. Right, the perimeter of a polygon is the sum of the lengths of all of its sides. And the lengths must all be expressed in the same unit. For example, meters or centimeters or kilometers, whatever the unit is that is being used, all the units have to be the same before you can calculate the perimeter. So remember, one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters, one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, and one meter is a thousand millimeters. So if you are given a diagram or a situation in a word problem where the measurements are different units, you must always convert them back to the same unit. Right, so let's have a look. Let's look at the formula or formulae that we can use to calculate perimeter on regular polygons. So if we have a square, how are we going to calculate the perimeter? Because remember, it's the distance around the outside of the square. So what we would need to do is we would add up the sides of the square. But because we know it's a square, all four of the sides are the same length. So we can say the perimeter is equal to side plus side plus side plus side, which is the same as saying it's equal to four times one side measurement. Okay, so that would be 4s. Right, if we look at a rectangle, you can see that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So we have two lengths that are the same length and two breadths that are the same length. Okay, that makes sense. Right, so to work out the perimeter, we would say length plus length plus breadth plus breadth. So it would look like that. But we can also then say that it's two lengths plus two breadths. So it's two times one length plus two times one breadth. And we can then simplify that even more and go it's two in brackets L plus B. So you work out length plus breadth and then you just double it. Right, and then let's look at a triangle. Here we have a scalene triangle. So if it's a scalene triangle, all you're going to do is you're going to add the sides together where it would be a plus B plus C. Remember, if it's an isosceles triangle, then you've got two equal sides, and then you add the third side. And if it is an equilateral triangle, all your sides are the same, so it will be 3S. But for a scalene triangle, there is no real formula. You just have to add the sides together. Okay, let's put this into practice. Okay, so here we have an irregular polygon, and we are going to now calculate its um, perimeter but have a look there are two sides that we do not have lengths for so let's label them a and b and then we can try and figure out what the length of those sides are okay so for the the formula we're going to go perimeter equals we can just use p for perimeter equals adding all the sides together here's the seven meters over there the one meter then a side we don't know another side we don't know three meters and five meters. Now I don't think it's impossible to work these sides out because if that whole side is seven meters and this side is three meters and imagine pulling this side down to be in line with that, then that A plus three meters would give me seven meters, which means that A will be four meters. And we can do the same thing with B because here we can pull it out to be in line with the one meter and if that line, that side is 5 meters, and we know 1 meter of the side, that must also be 4 meters. So there we have it. 7 meters plus 1 meter plus 4 meters, 4 meters, 3 meters, and 5 meters. So we add that all up together, 
and we end up with 24 meters. Can you see how simple it is to actually work out an unknown side when you are given a lot of the information already? Okay, let's have a look at another one. Here we go, there's another irregular polygon. Um, and once again, we um, can work out the sides that we don't know. So let's label them A and B. Okay, so now what we're going to do is what we actually are using is our properties for our rectangle or possibly square, but I think it's more of a rectangle in this case. So if we don't know this side, pretend you're pulling that side down, that and that side is the same length. Okay, opposite sides of a, of a rectangle. So if we know that part of the side is 2 and the whole side is 6, the other part of the side would be 4. Okay, and it's the same thing with B. Pull that out and now we've got 4 and 3 on the one side is 7. Opposite sides of a, of a rectangle, that will also be 7. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down our formula. And actually the formula for an irregular polygon is we are just adding up the sides. Okay, so we've got 6, 4, 2, 3, and then A and B. And as we've just calculated, we can see that A is 4 centimeters, because remember 2 plus the 4 will give me the opposite side, which is 6. And then B is 7 centimeters, and we calculated that 4 plus 3 will give me 7. Add them all together, and we end up with 26 centimeters. Okay, everybody happy? Right, how about this one? Okay, that's an irregular polygon too. But we also are given um, some information here. So that is A millimeters. And everything that has that um, marking on it will be A millimeters. Okay, and that is 3 A millimeters. So that side is equal to that side. This is equal to that, which is equal to that. And because those two are equal and that is opposite, it must also be equal. And that one is equal. So now, what is this one? Okay, it will be A plus A plus A, which will give me 3A there, 3A there, 3A there. And then 1A plus 1A plus 1A plus 1A plus 1A. So let's have a look. Okay, all the angles are right angles. And that's where we can also say, that that is e that side is equal to that side okay because it forms a square okay so we've got two sides that are 3a millimeters that one and that one because that's what we've been given then we've got five times a millimeters because it's one two three four five and then it's three times a millimeters okay and you're probably saying why is it three times a millimeters because if you squash that up and you squash that up so that they are all in line, you've got one, two, three of the A millimeters. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to then calculate 2 times 3 is 6A, 5 times A is 5A, 3 times A is 3A, and they are all millimeters. And it, together it will give me 14A. Because 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 3 is 14. Now don't stress because there's an A there. It just means it's an unknown value. But we can still work with it. We just don't know what the unknown value is right now. So because we've calculated it all together, whatever A is, it's 14 times that will give us the perimeter of that shape. Okay, hope everybody understands. Remember if you don't and you want to ask a question, to email grade 8 at worksheetcloud.com. Or otherwise, go back earlier on in the video and re-watch some of the parts. And then you will be able to understand. Right. You try this one. There we have an irregular polygon again. I want you to pause the video. And I want you to try and work out the perimeter of this polygon. And when we come back, we'll see how you did. Right. How did you do? There's the polygon, and we do not know this side. So we've got that side length, that side, that side, that side, that side, that side, and that long side. Okay, so we can call that A if we want to, um, or you can just try and calculate it by going, well, if that's 3, and that's 3, and that whole side is 12, that must be 6. But let's use the A. We've got 2 times 12, because we've got 12 and 12 there. We've got 2 times 3, because we've got 3 and 3 there. Then we've got 7 plus 10, and there's been something left out. 
So let me just correct it for us very quickly. I hope you can spot what was left out just now, but I've corrected it for us. So we've got 2 times 12, that one and that one. We've got um, 2 times 3, there and there. We've got 7 and 10, and there should be a 15 in here from this side, and then A, which has been added into here. So 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 3 is 6. The 7, the 10, the 15, and remember we worked this out to be 6, because it's that plus that plus that is going to give me that whole side of 12. So it's 3 plus 3, which is 6, plus 6 is going to give me 12, and that is where that 6 comes from. Okay, so we add it all up together, and we end up with 68 meters. That is the perimeter for this irregular polygon. Okay, let's just go through it once more, because I did leave out the 15 in this first line of working. So it's 12 and the 12, so we can say 2 times 12. Then it's 3 and 3, so we can say 2 times 3. Then we've got the 7 there, the 10 there, the 15 there, and the one that we don't know. Okay, we worked out that that one is 6 by saying 3 plus 3 plus that will give me that whole side, which is 12. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 6 is going to give me 12. That's where we got the 6 from. We add it all up together and we end up with an answer of 68 meters. Right, let's look at this. Okay, here we have a square and the side is labeled X. But now, if the perimeter is 20 centimeters, find the value of X. Okay, well, we know that the perimeter, the formula for perimeter of a square is equal to 4S. So if we go that it is with the perimeter we're going to substitute in, the perimeter is 20 centimeters, and um, the sides are 4x, we can now work out what x is by using our knowledge of algebra. Can you see how everything in maths is interconnected? Algebra is not just one section. We actually pull that into many sections of maths. But anyway, getting back to this, we're going to take our 4 across, the equal sign, which means we are going to divide our 20 centimeters by 4. 20 divided by 4 will give us the value of x, and we all know 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. So x is 5 centimeters, which means that each side of this square is 5 centimeters. Okay, you all happy? Right, let's have another one. Here we've got a rectangle, and we are told that that side is 7, and that side is x, so another unknown. But we will need more information, and there we have it. If the perimeter is 18 centimeters, find the value of x. Now again, we know the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. What is it again? It's p is equal to 2 times l plus b. Okay, so we've got what l is, it's 7, and b we're going to put down as x. So there we go. Perimeter we've been given, so we can substitute that in. The perimeter is 18. And then we're going to go 2 times 7 centimeters plus 2 times x. Because we don't, we can't work out what's in the bracket right now. We have an unknown value. So we're just going to multiply out again using algebra rules. So 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times x is 2x. So we end up with 18 centimeters is equal to 14 centimeters plus 2x. Take our 14 across the equal sign, so we have to subtract it. 18 minus 14 centimeters is equal to 2x, which is 4 centimeters is equal to 2x. What is x equal? Right, it's 4 divided by 2, so x is actually 2 centimeters. So this rectangle is 7 centimeters by 2 centimeters. So it's not the traditional way that you are used to working with perimeter. But here we are given certain um, facts, and we have to work out the unknown. Again, bringing algebra into it. That's why we can call our unknown side x, because it is unknown, and we solve for x. And in this case, x is 2 centimeters. Right, you try these. Find the perimeter of a square with a side of 5,5 centimeters. Find the perimeter of a rectangle in centimeters, with a breadth of 25 millimeters and a length of 4 centimeters, find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle with a side of 60 millimeters. Right, pause the video, 
you try and work those out on your own. I'm sure you're going to have no trouble at all. And when we come back, we will go over each one in turn. Let's see how you did. Okay, so the first one was find the perimeter of a square with a side of 5,5 centimeters. We know that the formula is perimeter is equal to 4s. So we need to write that down, perimeter is equal to 4s. We then substitute in our side, so it's going to be perimeter is equal to 4 times 5,5 centimeters. And you can just calculate that on your calculator and you will end up with 22 centimeters. All right, everybody happy? Okay, remember guys, if you have any questions at all, please to email your questions to grade 8 at worksheetcloud.com. Okay, let's look at the second one. Find the perimeter of a rectangle in centimeters with a breadth of 25 millimeters and a length of 4 centimeters. Right, now before we do this, we're going to have to change one of the units. Now, I know that if we change this to centimeters, we end up with a comma. And if we change this to millimeters, we're going to end up having to work it out and then convert it back to centimeters anyway. So my advice to you would be, do what you feel comfortable with, obviously. But the first thing is probably to work with 2,5 centimeters, because we know that changing from millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 10. Okay, because you do have a calculator to use, so please feel free to use it. But what we can do, we need our onsen centimeters, and it just saves that extra little step right at the end. So we know what our formula for perimeter is, perimeter of a rectangle. It's P is equal to 2 L plus B. Okay, so we write that down first, and then we substitute in. Remember, we only don't write down a formula if it's an irregular polygon because generally what we're going to do is just add all the sides together because very often they are not the same size or the same length but when we have a shape that we know a formula for always write down your formula and then substitute in so we have to change that first of all that 25 millimeters to centimeters and we end up with 2,5 centimeters okay the 2,5 plus 4, we're going to end up with 6,5 centimeters, and we double that, and we end up with 13 centimeters. Okay, so remember, it's asked in centimeters. If we are going to change the 40 centimeters to millimeter, the 4 centimeters, sorry, to millimeters, it will become 40 millimeters. We're then going to add those together, then double it, get the answer, and then we have to then divide by 10 to get back to centimeters. So if you go 40 plus 25, it's going to give you 65. 65 times 2 is going to give me 130 millimeters. Convert that back and you've got 13 centimeters. All right, everyone happy? I'm sure you were able to do this without a problem. Okay, and let's look at the last one. Find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle with a side of 60 millimeters. So now here you have to know your terminology because you have to know what an equilateral triangle is. Okay, and obviously in the name it means that all sides are equal. So what are we going to use? Perimeter is equal to 3s. And so what we do is we substitute in. So we're now finding the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. 3 times 60 is going to give me 180 millimeters. Right guys. Thank you so much for watching today's lesson. I hope you have learned a lot and I hope you are now um, confident in being able to work out the perimeter of an irregular polygon by finding some of the unknown sides with the information that you've got and then just adding it all together. And then also to work out perimeter with um, regular polygons by just being able to substitute in. And sometimes you are given the perimeter as we worked in a couple of the places um, and you have to work out an unknown side, sometimes you're just given the whole lot in words and then you have to solve the word problem. But thank you for watching today. Please remember if you have any queries to send your queries to um, grade 8 at worksheetcloud.com or just rewatch the video. And please also don't forget to do the activity that is attached. Thank you guys. See you next time. Keep well.